I'm gonna tell you 10 of the best YouTube apps for YouTubers, and it doesn't matter if you're on an iPhone or an Android, I've got you covered, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, I've made a handful of these app videos and people seem to like them. So because of that, I wanted to make another app video to where I have a compilation of some ones I've listed before and I've also got some new ones in the list as well to make sure that I'm expanding your horizons even more. As I'm going through this list, if there's anything on this list that I did not mention that you think YouTubers need to have, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. Number one on this list solves a humongous problem that everybody seems to be having on YouTube, and that is making custom art and custom thumbnails for your YouTube channel. That app is Canva. So how this works is once you open the app, you're going to see just a basic welcome screen. You want to skip all of that. You want to go straight over to YouTube art, click on YouTube art, and then you're gonna see all of these different templates that you can use for your thumbnail designs. Now, these are professionally made templates. You can use them and modify them for free. So there's no excuse for you anymore to have bad looking thumbnails. At number two is Dropbox. With Dropbox, you can record anything you want on your phone. You can record B-roll or anything while you're out and about, and you can upload it via an app from your phone, and then you can download it on your computer, or you can just use it as storage because video files are humongous, especially if you're shooting in 4K. So if you can connect to a Wi-Fi spot somewhere or if you have unlimited data, then you can just upload your stuff as you're doing it and then you can delete it from your phone and then you don't have to worry about it. Because it's backed up in a secure place and you are going to have an archive, an ever-growing archive of stuff that you'll be able to reference inside of your Dropbox account and it's just a safe place to keep your stuff. The next one on the list is a screen recorder. A common request that I get is, Nick, how do I record the screen on my phone? For that, you can use DU Screen Recorder. It's awesome, it's fast, super easy to use. That is for Android, if you're on an iPhone, you can actually do it with the built-in option that you have on your phone, or you can use an app called Record It. Next up is Snapseed. I always add Snapseed to the app list because Snapseed is awesome. In Snapseed, you can take a normal looking photo and make it look awesome. You can go into the tools, you can tune the image, you know, make it brighter, add contrast. This one's really cool. You can add ambience to it, so you can really make things look awesome in terms of the shadows and kind of give it an HDR look, which is pretty cool. You can add details to where you really crank up the detail in the image. You can add vignettes, all types of really cool stuff. You can see here all of the different tools that they have here for you to make your photos look absolutely incredible inside of Snapseed. The reason that Snapseed is so important for content creators is because when you upload a thumbnail, it's really important that your thumbnail pops. And what I mean by that is that you have color, you have contrast, that it really stands out, that it looks as pro as humanly possible. Next up, now this is a built-in feature for Android, but I always make sure to let people know about it. It is pre-typed responses for iPhone. They actually have an app for this. It's called pre-typed keyboard. Pre-can responses are fantastic. If you get a lot of comments on your channel to where people are asking the same questions over and over, or you have to keep linking the same videos over and over, you can go ahead and load them into this, and then you just have to select it from a dropdown, and then you're good to go. Next up on the list is another set of artwork apps. These are also for making thumbnails and channel art, and these are different from Canva because you can either work with templates or you can build something completely from the ground up so that it's unique to you. The names of these apps are Pixel Lab. I will put a link to a tutorial on how to use Pixel Lab at the top of the screen. And the other one is Pixelmator if you are on an iPhone. One thing that you want to make sure that you do if you are designing your own channel art is they actually make the channel art humongous, right? They make it so that it looks good on TVs and all of that. But what you actually see on desktops and mobile devices is you see just that small little header, header that small little header, that small little header area. So what you want to do is whatever design that you make, if you're putting text on there, then what it is that you want to do is you want to just use that small area in the middle instead of trying to fill up the entire thing. That'll make making it and making sure it fits a lot easier. Next up on the list, of course, if you're a YouTuber, if you're a content creator, you have to have the YouTube Creator Studio app. The YouTube Creator Studio app is awesome for a bunch of different reasons. One, it lets you manage your stuff on the go. Two, you can also stay up to date on your comments, which is really important if you're trying to grow a community. You can even modify your title, your description, your tags. You can even upload thumbnails thumbnails, custom thumbnails through the YouTube Creator Studio app. I have a tutorial for that. I will put it right up here at the top of the screen. Kinemaster is the next app on 
this list that I also have a tutorial for, but basically, which I'll also put up here, but basically with KineMaster, what that is, is it's a video editor. It has multiple tracks and all that stuff. So it really opens you up creatively in terms of what you can actually do with your mobile phone in terms of video editing. Next up on the list is the TubeBuddy app. And that's right, they make a TubeBuddy app for your phone. I said it that way because, you know, I know some people don't know that there's an app for the phone for TubeBuddy. At the time of this recording, this one is currently only available for iPhone, but the Android version is on the way. So hang tight. It's coming. I have a tutorial on the TubeBuddy app. You can check that out up here as well. I'm also here after that card disappears, I'm gonna put another tutorial to Brian G. Johnson's tutorial that he also made on the TubeBuddy app. Both of them are awesome and you should probably check out both. And I think now would be a great time to mention that this little light right over here in this view, I've kicked this thing probably eight times. Um, just, you know, getting different phones and like going and grabbing a drink of water and a bunch of, I guess, you know, six other things. I've uh, knocked this thing over a bunch, but anyway, Back to the video. Next on this list is Discord. If you've made it this far in the video, I wanna let you know that you can join my Discord. So basically it's for everybody that is in this community, you can join my Discord through the link down in the description below. Uh, it's basically a chat application to where you can connect with other YouTubers and it's pretty awesome. Or in other words, it's going down in the Discord. If you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.